Alright, here we go. Time for Lord of the Rings movie number two. The next review of this whole big epic trilogy that I'm going to be talking about. Let's go! Hello everyone! Welcome back to another movie review. And, as you saw in my previous video, I'm going to be talking about 2002's The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Yes, we are continuing on with this big, epic, cinematic trilogy that I absolutely love and adore with all my heart. So, yeah, I'm talking about how it right here on the channel with all you good, lovely folks who are all watching right now. So, yeah, um... Once again, I hope you all, um, I hope you all enjoy my reviews that I've been doing, I hope you all enjoy my Christmas reviews, and I hope you all stay tuned for those Christmas reviews that I got. As usual, like I said in my previous videos, stay tuned for the couple top 10s I got planned, for the top 5 I got planned, for the Christmas reviews I got planned, and, of course, for the rest of this whole epic Lord of the Rings trilogy review. So, yeah. So, and... Yeah, without further ado, let's just, let's get right into it. Let's get right into the second movie in this whole trilogy. Let's talk about it. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, 2002. Here's my review for it. Let's go. So, this movie stars, well, it pretty much stars the same cast as the previous one. It stars Viggo Morrison, Ian McKellen, Elijah Wood, Sean Astin, Orlando Bloom, um... Hugo Weaving, Liv Tyler, the whole cast are all back. And, th th of course, there's a couple new ones out of there, too. Uh, and this movie is, once again, written and directed by Peter Jackson. Yeah, the man who made the whole big epic trilogy as a whole. So he he made the whole trilogy, but everyone everyone knows that at this point. Um, and basically, the story of this movie is continuing where well, pretty much after Fellowship left off. Because at the end of the movie... Hey, pretty much the the gang split up after Gandalf. Well, if you thought Gandalf died at the end of the movie, no, he did not die. He fell, and then he kind of half got turned to map, got more powerful, got more magic, and because he fought the the big the big beast and the big thing, you know that that caused him to go, "You shall not pass." Yeah, that. Epic, iconic, amazing line. Mm, oh yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, um, yeah, he's back and he's not getting off the gray. He's getting off the whites. Yeah, because he's got the big, you know, cloak. He got the new staff. It's, it's pretty, pretty epic. You see, Gandalf return and basically, yeah, the 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 fellowship is split now because. Uh, Frodo and Sam, they're on their own. Merry and Pippin, they're on their own. Um, Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli, they're all on their own. And eventually, Gandalf comes back and joins them. And it all comes down to this. And we get the instruction to Faramir. And, yeah, the brother of Boromir. And it all leads into the Battle of Helm's Deep at the end of... The third, at the end of the third movie. This is basically the continuation, the continuation of the Fellowship of the Ring. Adding more characters, adding more of like the, the King, King Theodon, played by Bernard Hill. And so, yes, yeah, the continuation bringing more characters. And it also gives us Gollum, or Smeagol, played by Andy Serkis. And we'll get into, we'll get into him in this whole review. Ho, 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 yeah, we're gonna get into it. So, yeah, um, oh, and also brings us some um, Awen, played by Miranda Otto. And so, yeah, uh, let's just, let's get into the pauses. Once again, like I said, for Fellowship of the Ring, there's a lot of pauses with this movie that I got, I got to talk about. So, yeah, um, once again, uh, the performances are all great. It's like, got, come on, you got Elijah Wood once again, giving even better performance in this movie than he, he did in the first, because you really, they, like I, like I was mentioning before, and I'll, I'll say to now, he, his performance, you really, you really feel for him, you really see how he's getting so much pain, and how he's just, 
he's struggling to survive. He's struggling to hold that ring because he can't do like normal things. That's why, like I said before, that's why he has to pretty much rely on Sam to protect him and get him to Mordor because it's like it's it's kind of a struggle, a struggle. Like that power is draining him, poisoning him. And it's just. Yeah, it's hard to survive. In fact, anyone who holds that ring is going to be dread dread and poisoned. It's just have all that pain in them. Just it's just it's just it's horrifying. It's horrifying. It's a really horrifying feeling. So, yeah, and Elijah Wood's performance in there is is just getting better and better the more it goes. Same with Sean Astin as well. Like, of course, it's like the performances are iconic. They're iconic, and I absolutely love and adore what what the actors gave in their performances. So, yeah, they give Oscar one of their performances. Same with, once again, Viggo Morrison as Aragorn and E. McKellen as Gandalf. It's like, of course, they give Oscar worthy performance. Like, all three movies got nominated for Best Picture. So, what a surprise. It's like, of course, yeah, of course, they deserve Oscar nominees. So, yeah, um... But I honestly say, definitely without a doubt, the best actor is Andy Serkis as Gollum. He is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly terrifying in this movie. It's like, you hate this character star. He's so fun, but you also hate him. It's like, I'll, I'll definitely get into him a little bit more in my uh, Return of the King review. But he has such an interesting vibe that he just, he talks to himself a lot. He just... You're like, precious, 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 precious. Oh, God, it's pretty, pretty chilling how it's just, how he leads, um, Frodo and Sam to the, 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 the Black Gates, you know, the Black Gates, um, that go into Mordor, and, oh, yeah, it's, a it's a big, it's a big, um, journey for, uh, the, the, you know, the main characters, and Gollum, he might seem like a good, a good guy at first, but he, yeah, he gets a little worse, he gets a little worse, but, uh, I'll, I'll get him, I'll get him, and I know I just said, technically, like, you hate this character from the start, well, that's the thing, though, you kind of, you could, you, you think you might hate him, but you also, you might like him, so, like, that's what this character is, like, sometimes, lots of characters will be like that, like, you don't, know if they're going to be good or bad, and it's like, it really gets in your head, it's like, are, is this character going to be a good guy, or is this character going to be a bad guy, I don't, I don't fucking know, what, what is this character going to fucking be, I was like, what, <laughs> like, yeah, it really, really goes in your head, and, um, I'll talk, I'll talk about it, I'll talk about him more in, uh, the Return of the King review, which I'm really excited to talk about, so, but yeah, Gollum, love everything about Gollum, the CGI on Gollum is phenomenal, I mean, phenomenal. Like, come on. Like, he looks real as fuck. He is so real in this movie. I really, really dug all of his um, acting and just all of his visuals. And just, it felt so perfect. Just like, it's just like Josh Brolin as Thanos in Infinity War, which came out, which came out um, 16 years later. But... But yeah, the, the visuals and the acting, it's just like, it is so real. It's like, how is this even acting, man? This is like, incredible. How is this even CGI? It's like, did they actually get these characters? And like, they, they actually get them in the roles because they're so real in this movie. I just, I, I just, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. It's just, I, and I absolutely love, I love how, everything how they did it. Um, another big praise I gotta give to this movie is The Battle of Heimsteep. And, um, in the third act, it is, uh, of course, it's incredible how Gandalf walks into the shadow on the horse, and he's, uh, and he's got that big army behind him, it's, just, it's epic, and it's how a lot of, how they're in danger, like, how they gotta, how they gotta, li they literally gotta get kids in the war, because they don't have enough men to stop off all the thousands and thousands of orcs that they got us, and it's, it's pretty intense, and it's an incredible, 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 incredible final battle. It's just, yeah, um, and, yeah, and Frodo and Sam, they might not have as much to do in this movie as they do in the other two, but their roles in this movie is also still good. Like, their journey, their chemistry, how they talk with Gollum, it's just, like, it's, it, it builds, it builds. So, yeah, um, 
do I have any negs with this one? No, no, of course I don't. But is it the weakest one in the trilogy? Yes, it is definitely the weakest one because it doesn't have as interesting aspects as the first one. But what this movie does best is that it's it's the perfect midpoints, like uh, continuing on what Fellowship left off and bringing in more characters, bringing in more armies, bringing more, it's basically setting up Return of the King. It's setting up the big final war in the third movie, and it all does it so perfectly. It's like the the big, epic, perfect, like, midpoints of the whole story. And just, yeah, and honestly, because this whole trilogy, it's like almost a whole nine-hour film. I'll talk more about that in the next, in the next review, but... Yeah, it is, it is just, wow, it is a big epic trilogy, and yeah, Two Towers does it all just phenomenally well, and I absolutely love this movie, it is, once again, of course, one of my favorite movies of all time, and of course, once again, with The Fellowship of the Ring, I have to give this movie an 11 out of 10. It's an absolute masterpiece, I love it, I adore it with all my heart, and it's one of my favorite movies of all time, and Perfect second movie in this whole trilogy. So, there you go. So, there you go. That'll wrap it up for my review of Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. I hope you all enjoyed this review. Stay tuned once again for all the Christmas reviews that I got. I got top 10, couple top 10s, top 5s, all of them related to movies. And I got my Return of the King review coming next. And stay tuned for all that. And, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. And Merry Christmas from Hayes Lord.